Daniel. One more story. Now, most of you know that uh, uh, I'm Ukrainian. Born, uh, born in the States here. My parents were born in Ukraine. They met over here when they were much older. Was raised speaking Ukrainian, was part of the official Ukrainian diaspora. I'm looking at you, you guys all know this, but in case you don't. <clears throat> uh, um, played in Ukrainian bands my whole life. My dad's in a Ukrainian band. Andy from the funk band is in Ukrainian. His dad was with my dad. So Ukrainian, 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 it's a whole thing. I was just in the gym the other day and a guy told me that he was going to Ukraine to find a wife. They have mail order, mail order women. And he had no idea that I was Ukrainian, which is the funny thing. I thought he was like, I thought he was kidding. You know, I'm like, oh, and he's sort of talking about it. And I said, no, where are you going? And he mentioned a couple towns. And I said, those are my people. He realized, he's like, well, I said, yeah, I was Ukrainian, born and, born and raised. So he's going to meet, he's going to meet someone. Uh, he's a very nice guy and, uh, and, and good luck to him because, you know, uh, good luck. But maybe he'll meet someone like this. <laughs> this is called, I hate Ukrainians. <clears throat> so what is it with people? To steal from Chris Rock, I love Ukraine, but I hate Ukrainians. Let me back up. The funk band was booked to play a wedding for New Year's Eve. Now, this is our second New Year's Eve in as many years, and they usually are a lot of fun. The couple that booked us for this job happened to be Ukrainian. Both bride and groom were as nice as could be, and while they were looking for a band for their event, they realized that both Andy Kay and I are ukes, and that there was a possibility that we could do some Ukrainian repertoire. I think they googled funk band wedding Ukrainian and went to our PFA site. <laughs> cool. Uh, anyway, upon further discussion, we realized that my father and Andy's father, both of whom formed the Ukrainian band Tempo in 1955, the two of them played the bride's parents' wedding 31 years earlier. Let me say that again. My dad's band played the bride's parents' wedding 31 years ago, and now, here we were, all this time later, with a harab and a koal, or actually, jihrab and a koal, uh, playing at a wedding for the very same family. Great. I announced this bit of trivia at the start of the night and got a very nice audible response. I thought it was quite cool. Anyway, PFA obviously does not specialize in Ukrainian material. I just happened to put a book together of a few tunes so that there would be a small amount of some Yuki classics that we could intersperse throughout the night. The guys in the band did a really great job playing these anachronistic songs. How many bands can play a waltz, a tango, and then Rick James with equal authority? <laughs> uh, and we were having a really great time. During the course of the evening, people who know me or know my dad, essentially all Ukrainians know each other, he realized, um, <laughs> would approach me or Andy and say hi and happy new year and you sound like your dad when you sing in Ukrainian and uh, what a great party etc yeah as a side note apparently only when I sing in Ukrainian I sound exactly like my father <laughs> very strange some genetic <laughs> slouch said it's like you sound like your dad dude I was like, oh, whatever. which is fine anyway uh, okay uh, uh, it was close to the end of the night and we were on our last break before preparing for the midnight countdown and the final hour of partying. Uh, a guy approached me, and I realized that he was a camp counselor of mine from years ago. Uh, I think I was like eight or nine. I remember him as being a real putz, a real power-hungry ass who didn't know the first thing about dealing with kids, just a real zero. So, of course, when upon seeing him, I said, hey, great to see you. It's been a while. Ugh. Anyway, he makes a bit of small talk saying that he always knew I'd be a musician or at least an entertainer, blah, blah, blah. Then he introduces his wife. Ouch. Here's the part where I'm embarrassed by my genetic heritage. This broad is an obvious OTB. Now, OTB is a fond little nickname we diasporatic snobs call off the boater. Uh, who possesses, she possesses all of the cliches associated with new Eastern European immigrants. First, she's obviously with this zero of a guy to get into the country. Second, she's dressed as if she's auditioning for round one of Zagreb Idol. Third, she has a pair of glasses that both Kissinger and Adrian from the first Rocky movie would say look too dorky. Fourth, she speaks Ukrainian with a Russian accent that just annoys the piss out of me. I know that 70 years of Soviet cultural diffusion had a tremendous influence on the vowel shifting in non-diasporatic Ukrainian, but I don't care. To me, it all sounds like fucking Russian. 
And fifth, and absolute worst of all, but so goddamn typical, she proceeds to start talking to me as if I've known her all my life. She goes off on a tear, talking about how she's heard my dad's band, Tempo, and how much better we are, and that they need to get new material, and that they had no beat, and how they're getting old, and... Now, these things may or may not be true about my dad's band, but bitch, who the fuck are you? <laughs> this, the guy joins in and says, not to disparage your dad's band, but... And then proceeds to disparage my dad's band. These vodka douches think that they're being complimentary by saying that PFA sounds good, but they're doing it at the complete expense of my father. Double yuck. My attitude quickly changed and I said that I needed to go find a chart and run to the bathroom before we start again. Just as I finished saying this, the chick says, says, not asks, mind you, you'll play more Ukrainian songs. I said, probably not, seeing as it's, it's dance and party time until the end of the night, we have an hour left. Oh, yes, you will, she says, in the typically assuming fashion of all of these schneds. I heard a friend of mine call uh, OTB's schned once. I have no idea what this means, but I think it's really funny. Schned. We finished out the night, uh, uh, and things could not have gone better. The crowd loved us, the couple was happy as could be, and all went well. As I was loading my gear into my car, it's about 2.30 a.m. by this point, who should walk out in front of the loading area but Mrs. Schned herself, in a bathrobe, smoking a cigarette. Classy. She proceeds to berate me for not ending the night with a Ukrainian song. It's a Ukrainian wedding. How could you not end with a Ukrainian song? Surely you could have done one more. I said, it may have been a Uke wedding, but we're not a Ukrainian band. We're a funk band that happens to be able to play a few Ukrainian tunes. Well, next time you'll end with Ukrainian song. How could you not? Then this potato gash proceeds to argue with me about whether I should drive home or stay. Again, in a... Typical, far too familiar, listen chick, I'm not your friend, so stop talking to me as if you can say whatever the fuck you want to in a way way too comfortable tone. How can you drive? You should stay. What are you thinking? Don't be crazy. Yeah, who the fuck are you again? <laughs> now, you would think that this kind of behavior is anomalous, but whenever I deal with OTBs, this kind of shit happens again and again and again. So I love my culture and I love my heritage, but boy do I hate Ukrainians.